The Barreto 3107C Chipper is a rugged, intuitive machine. Designed with a 31 horsepower V-twin Briggs Vanguard engine and two double-sided chipping knives, this machine will dice material up to 7 inches in diameter. Its feed wheel and motor pivot on heavy-duty composite bushings, not plastic slides like other machines of equal size. And yet, the chipper isn't just a beast, it's also highly attuned. The chipper adapts its speed using a load sensing valve to optimize its chipping feed. As the load goes up and the chipper slows down, it adjusts the feed rate to keep the RPM at maximum, ensuring that clogging is kept to a minimum. General safety instructions. To use the 3107C, you must be over 18 years old, of sound body and mind, and familiar with the machine as taught to you by someone with experience. You must also read and understand all safety messages and instructions in the user manual. Pay special attention to the safety decals fixed to the body of the chipper near specific hazard points. The 3107C must always be operated in full compliance with all state, local, and national regulations, including OSHA regulations. Never operate the 3107C under the influence of alcohol, drugs, prescriptions that prohibit operation of machinery, or any other substances that impair your cognitive or physical ability. Always wear proper PPE while moving or operating the chipper. This includes eye protection like safety glasses or a full face shield, earplugs, a hard hat, gloves, and boots. If you're working near traffic, wear reflective clothes. Never wear loose-fitting clothing, jewelry, or anything which could get caught, and keep head or facial hair pulled back while operating the machine. While moving or operating the chipper, stay clear of any moving parts. Belts and chipping blades especially can amputate arms, legs, fingers, and cause serious injury or even death. If you must operate on a slope, connect the chipper to a towing vehicle, engage the vehicle's parking brake, and chalk both the tires of the chipper and the vehicle that's holding it. When operating, always stay clear of the chute and any debris flying out of it. Always operate the machine outdoors and avoid standing near or breathing in the engine exhaust and fumes. If possible, keep a fire extinguisher capable of extinguishing Class A, B, and C fires near you while you operate. Only operate when there is enough light, either natural or artificial, and allow for plenty of side and overhead clearance between the machine and buildings, fences, trees, and other obstacles. Never operate the chipper without the standard guards. If you're missing any, they need to be replaced prior to operating the machine. Never leave the chipper unattended while the engine runs. There's no place to stand on the 3107C, so never try. Also, never allow anybody else to stand or ride on the machine. If possible, pick a worksite free from bystanders. If you cannot avoid having others on the worksite, keep all observers or co-workers at a safe distance from hazard zones and use traffic flag personnel, signs, cones, and lighting devices to warn or divert traffic and pedestrians. Stop the machine immediately if anyone comes too close to hazard areas. Diverting traffic and working in congested public areas may require permits. Always check. It's your responsibility to know before you chip. Towing the chipper. Equipped with a standard 2,900-pound torsion axle and quick-release coupling, the 3107C is ready to tow. It also comes equipped with a bolt-on tongue, which can be removed if damaged and needing to be replaced. Always perform a detailed check of both the chipper and the vehicle you're pulling with before you tow. The vehicle must be rated to tow trailers over 1,500 pounds with a tongue weight of over 180 pounds. It must have a 2-inch hitch ball in good condition and securely fastened. It must also have two points on either side of the ball to attach the safety chains. On the chipper, ensure the fuel shutoff valve is in the closed position. Failure to do so could damage the machine. Inspect the hitch coupler, the hitch ball, all safety chains and attachment points on the towing vehicle and the chipper tongue on the machine to ensure they're secure and undamaged. Also, check the air pressure of all the tires. When the inspection is done, securely fasten the coupler to the hitch ball, cross the safety chains under the tongue, and secure them to the towing vehicle. This will prevent dropping the chipper accidentally. Tighten so the chains are not too tight or so loose that they're dragging on the ground. Pull up the swivel jack so it's parallel with the tongue and pinned in place. Lock the rear flap in an upright position. Attach the towing lights and test them on both the chipper and the vehicle. If the chipper is not equipped with lights, don't tow at night or in low light conditions. 
Both the chipper and the towing vehicle must be generally roadworthy before towing and never go faster than 45 miles an hour while on the road. As you tow, allow for extra clearance around your vehicle, greater stopping distance, and stop after a few blocks to check your load and retighten the hitch to the ball if necessary. Always know and obey all local towing laws. Always do an assessment when you arrive on site. Look around for any conditions or obstructions that could hinder chipping or make operating the machine unsafe for anyone. If there is a source of sparks, flames, or unknown vapors nearby, do not operate. Once you complete your assessment, unlatch the rear feed chute and lower slowly until the machine is totally horizontal. Next, unlock and rotate the exit chute until it is pointed where you want. Tighten the lock handles. If the chipper is detached from the vehicle, use the swivel jack to keep it level to the ground. Always place tire chocks to prevent the chipper from rolling, especially if operating on a slope. Checking the machine. Before starting, inspect to make sure nothing on the machine is worn or damaged and replace parts as needed. Also, check and maintain the engine oil before you start it up. The engine oil must be checked daily prior to use and after every eight hours of continuous use. For the specific process to check and add more oil, check the owner's manual. Operating the machine. Open up the fuel shutoff valve and move the choke control to choke or start. Insert the key and turn to start. If the machine fails to start, check the exit chute safety switch. This switch will not allow the machine to operate if the chute is still upright. Fully lower down the chute and try again. After starting, allow the machine to warm up before use. Slowly shift the choke toward the run position. Always wait until the engine runs smoothly before each choke adjustment. Slowly increase the throttle until the clutch is engaged, the throttle is at full, and the flywheel is at full RPM. Push the feed wheel handle towards the machine and start the hydraulic motor. Feed the chipper hopper with tree limbs and branches up to 7 inches thick. For materials with large, leafy branches, feed them so that the leafy sections will enter the chute last. If equipped, the electronic feed system will slow or stop the feed wheel if the flywheel slows to a certain RPM. When starting up, the signal light will flash until the flywheel is up to full RPM. Then it will stop. If the flywheel speed goes down too much due to operating load, or if you lean into the yellow safety bumper bar, the feed wheel will stop feeding and the signal light will flash again. In order to prevent a clog, always allow the chipper time to get back up to speed before feeding more materials. Always run the engine at full throttle and never feed materials that are larger than 7 inches in diameter. Also, never feed anything but plant materials. Doing so could seriously damage the machine. At any point, you can use the operator safety bar to stop or reverse the feed wheel. In the case of an emergency, press the safety bar across the front of the chute to bring the feed wheel completely to a halt. At no point should you reach anywhere inside the machine, even if it clogs. Doing so could result in serious injury or even death. Instead, if a branch is clogged and extends out of the chipper hopper, reverse the feed wheel by pulling the feed wheel handle toward you. Grab the branch, reposition, reverse the wheel, and try again. If the branch is stuck inside the chipper hopper and close to the feed wheel, use a longer branch or piece of wood to remove or reposition the stuck branch. If this fails, turn off the engine, remove the key, and wait for the flywheel to come to a complete halt. Once stopped, remove the two bolts holding the exit spout frame and pivot the exit spout away from the machine. Rotate the wheel by hand and remove any clogged material inside the wheel cover. It is heavy and its blades are sharp. Stopping and maintaining the machine. Once chipping is complete, turn the key to the off position to shut down the engine. Do not close the throttle until the flywheel stops spinning. Doing so could damage the machine. Instead, allow the flywheel to come to a complete halt. Now, reduce the throttle to slow or idle. Remove the key and store it in a safe place out of reach of children or people not authorized to operate the machine. Close the fuel shutoff valve and allow the machine to cool entirely before refueling. If you don't, sparks from the engine could ignite the fuel. Safely tow the machine to where it will be stored. Once you arrive, park the 3107C on level ground and chalk the tires to prevent rolling. Without chalks, the machine has no brakes and may roll and harm people or damage property. 
Always do the necessary lubrication and maintenance required once you get back to the shop or, if necessary, in the field. Consult the owner's manual for specific lubrication requirements and safety precautions for performing maintenance on the battery. For more information, visit www.barettomfg.com or consult your owner's manual.